everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Well, spring has sprung, but winter is still hanging on and we have a need for some animal shelters. Behind me is a little shelter that we built and it was intended to be just a cover for our chickens to get out of the sun and a place to have their food and water so that it wasn't sitting in the sun or a place for them to go if it was raining. It worked out really well and we were able to repurpose it for this last winter for our pigs. So it's just an open run-in shelter for them. Uh, sides, it has a back for a windbreak and a roof for rain and it has worked out really well. This is low to the ground and it is about two and a half, three feet high in the back and about four and a half feet high on the front. This was all built from scrap material that was already here on our farm. Um, we had a, they think I have food and I don't. <laughs> Their food time comes in about two hours. So there's still, it's early for them. So this was all built from a tool bench that we had taken apart from inside of our shop when we bought our property. And we just left all of the wood there as scrap. Scrap wood is perfect for these projects, scrap materials. Let me show you how it's kind of constructed. So this is just a real simple design and he used four by four posts for each corner leg and then propped it up, laid it all out, did the corner braces here, uh, tacked up some sheet metal that had been laying out back and it was just plenty for them. It doesn't look great, but you know, with a coat of paint, it's all farm stuff. It gets rubbed on by the animals and it gets used. Um, another repurposing we did is we had this old fuel oil barrel and it wasn't worth repairing so he cut the end off of it and it's the shelter for the big boar and the big sow and the both of them fit in there well. It is probably a 500 gallon tank. Not everybody has that welding and torching skills. So these little shelters work really good. There had been three pigs in here with this shelter. It is about six or seven feet wide across the front and they get through there really big. Uh, these girls are about 300 pounds each and there's plenty of room for them. When the three were in there, they still had room for another pig or two. Plenty, plenty of shelter for them being pigs, nice little coating of fat and they've got a wind break here and shade with this shade cloth that I put on the fence plus the wind break from the pine trees. So let's go see what we're doing today. So the other night when he got home from work, he decided that he would build another one of these. As you've seen, it is calving season on the farm and we have got a little calf that needed a shelter. She's been making do with just some stacks of straw that I put together, put some lumber on top and some scrap sheet metal on the top for a roof for her. But we need an addition for more cows for them to have a run in, a place to get out of the wind, the sun, and the rain when it's really bad. So springtime can be a tough time for calving and so can winter. So we really wanted them to have a roof to be able to stay dry. Those new mamas go through a whole lot in that first week of having a baby and recovery. So it's just nice to have a little place for them. This can always be a milking station later on a feeding station, anything you need it to be. It's the perfect size for a chicken coop, just depending on how much you want to enclose it. This was all done with material, again, that we had on hand. He had some pressure treated wood for a project that he hadn't gotten around to and decided he would just whip this up. It literally took him about an hour, hour and a half to get this far. So where he needed to, he bumped out you know, with a block for spacing to meet up with everything. You can choose to enclose the sides or not and have it be a chicken coop, full-fledged shelter for the animals. All the cows will fit in here. There'd probably be space here for about four cows laying, that, laying around comfortably. Um, we're using scrap aluminum that had been in a storage trailer. So that's what we've got lined up here. And this is about 13 pieces total, I think, that we have. And it's 46 inches so he made his back 48 inches high and raised it up off the ground two inches to allow for manure and a little bit of airflow 
um, and just the dirt and the ground in general. So it is going to be hopefully tacked up in place. It was so windy. We had such a wind storm yesterday. That's why my face is red. And we had sun like crazy the day before. So let me show you how the progress goes as we get it all put together. So you can see we've got some bracing to get it all squared up here on the front. And we have enough extra materials that he's thinking about making it enclosed on the back and one of the sides for a little wind protection. Both sides to here. Oh, like, like yeah, like halfway. That's smart. A little extra wind protection. That's good. And these are our sheets. See how it's coming? It's so great. All of a sudden it just goes from a frame to a, an actual run-in. Forty is so many. Good job, helper. George. Careful, baby. Right, Murdoch. Hmm? He's talking about lining it up. <laughs> So, do you see the tops of those white posts there and there? It got windy during the night, and I came out this morning and thought I better get it anchored down. And I found it leaning against the fence. So I repaired the fence staple, got my anchors in the ground, another wind gust came along, flipped it right over the fence. So we got to do a little repair and get it back in and anchored. So we were able to take it back up to the house. We needed the power drill. These cordless drills clutches just kept slipping. So we had an extra two by four going across the front of it so that we could put it right on the bed of the truck and on the tailgate. Worked perfect. Sorry you didn't get a shot of it. Well, maybe you did. I tried last night. Let's see if I can lighten it on the computer. So. He's anchoring it down with some T-posts, and we turned it the opposite way for the wind today. And, you know, I had it facing the other way. The wind had caught it. I turned it. The wind caught it worse, and it sailed. So definitely have anchors on it, or you're screwed. Or build it in place with the post in the ground. Hi! Are you coming?
coming to see? Hi! Oh! Big clumps of grass. Just like the hay field. So there's our easy shelter run in. He's got a little space there in the front that we're gonna trim a piece of this off and put it up there for some extra or use some flashing. He said he knew he had some flashing around somewhere from a project that was left over. But you can see, even with the wind catching it, the construction screws held it together. We added a couple more screws in some places where we thought maybe it might need a little extra support after that abuse. But it held. It did real good. The braces did their job. So thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you next time.